everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Kelly Manzoni, back for the month of August, and George will be returning in September. I hope you're having a great summer. For today's class, we're going to need a few items. Your short stick mobility stick and one of the longer sticks. And if you don't happen to have either, you could use a PVC pipe or a wooden dowel, whatever you have accessible to you. We're also going to possibly need a towel or a pillow for your knees if you have any issues. And we will be doing some shin box later. So if you struggle with shin box, you could take a pillow and you can sit on it. And I'll show you that when we get to that portion. We also need access to a sidewall. And depending on how much time we have today, we may be using uh, the ceiling. Um, getting started with our warm up, we're going to have a nice dynamic warm up. Taking the short stick, now we're going to be going into reverse lunges as we kayak, and I know that the camera is going to flip me. So if I have the stick right here on my left hip, it's going to look like the right side to you watching. Now as we go into the kayaking, the arm that is going to go back and sweep down is the leg that is going to go back into a reverse lunge. If you get caught up on the timing or the coordination, please feel free to slow it down and work at your own pace. This class is going to be uploaded later to YouTube and to the Instagram page so you can always watch it back. We're going to be going on a three count. So you're going to take the stick over to your right hip and we're going to go slow first. So we're going to kayak backwards, one, kayak backwards, two. Now as my left leg steps back into a lunge, the left arm is going to swoop down. And then we count again, one, two, three. So we're gonna alternate, one, two, left leg back, one, two, right leg back. Now, if it's too much with the reverse lunge, you could simply perform your kayaking standing in place in your stick mobility horse stance, which if you've been doing class for quite a while, you're used to. And I'm applying just a little bit of pressure into the stick, probably about 30%. And I'm focusing on really reaching up and back and driving through that front heel. Let's go for just a few more. So we have three more. Excellent. Two more. Inhale and exhale. One more. Left leg back. Perfect. Come forward into your horse stance. So now you're wider than hip width, knees are soft, and you're gonna pendulum up and over to the left. And I'm pushing up with that right hand. And as you can see, the bicep is in line with the ear. And then up and over to the other side. I love using this as a primer for a lot of my kettlebell work, barbell work, anything overhead. So we're just alternating a few more to the left. To the right, we're gonna do one more to the left, one more to the right, excellent. Returning to the kayaking. So we started with reverse kayaking with a reverse lunge, and now we're gonna forward kayak with a front lunge. I'm gonna take the stick on my left side. So if you want, you could watch me first. We're gonna go forward, one, two. Now as that right leg comes forward, the left arm comes across and step back, one, two, and then on three, stepping forward with that left leg. Three, good. One, two, left leg forward. One, two, right leg forward. Take your time again. You could always slow this down. You could take the forward lunge out and simply kayak in place in that horse stance. Perfect. Still applying pressure into the stick, inhaling, and exhaling, waking up the whole body today. Good. Let's go for three more. One, eyes forward, two, one more, and recover. Excellent. Returning to our horse stance, shoulder dislocates. In our position here, I want you to soften into the knees. Again, watch the alignment with your tailbone. And I want you to be mindful of keeping the ribcage closed and what's happening with your chin. 
as we take our stick mobility back, I want you to be mindful that you're not jetting forward with the chin or dropping the chin to your chest. Holding wide on the stick in your horse stance, now you're going to pull apart and activate that posterior line. Chin neutral. All fingers stay in contact with the stick. You only go back to where you're comfortable. Keeping the shoulders packed from there, as the stick comes over the forehead, you're going to push in. Excellent. Pull apart. Breathing. Go back to where you're comfortable. Come forward. Again, push into the stick. We're going to do three more. Pull apart. Rib cage close. Excellent. Push into the stick and gently look. Two more, nice and smooth. Never work into pain. Pull apart. Chin stays neutral, rib cage close. Come forward, push into the stick and gently lower. So as part of our warm up, we did our reverse and forward lunge. Now we're going to go lateral. So take your stance wider than hip width. Everybody's flexibility and mobility is a little bit different. So find a position that is comfortable for you. Your stick is gonna come up at chest height and I want you to crush the stick. So push into the stick, fire that anterior line, rip the ground with the feet. Now I'm gonna go into a lateral lunge with the right leg, stooping over. Now I pause here, pull apart. Take the arms up to where you can comfortably. Push into the stick, come center. Glide, pull apart the floor. Pull apart with the arms now. As you go over the forehead, push in. Pause chest height. Sweep and glide, working into those legs. Pull apart. Good. Push into the stick. Glide over to your left. Pull apart. Push. Let's do one more on each side. So I'm going over to that right side. Breathing. Again, watching alignment. Push into that stick. Over to your left. Pull apart. Chin neutral. Over the forehead. Push. Come center. Take the stick to the ground. Heel, toe in gently so that you're not shocking your hips. We're going to now go over to our longer stick for bow and arrow. Really working into our upper body and legs today. We're going to floss our upper body and floss the hips. Taking your stick to the outside of your right foot, just a few inches, I want you to go wider than hip width. Your bottom right hand is going to find the sticker. In your top left hand, the thumb is going to face down with the palm forward towards me. Now, Oftentimes in bow and arrow, people push out with the arms first, but we want to lead pressing out with the hips first. So I'm going to send my hips to my left, then push out with that bottom right arm, and my top left arm, I'm going to pack that shoulder and pull. Now holding here, glutes are squeezed, feet are gripping the ground, I'm keeping my chest completely still, my chin still, and I'm going to floss the arms. I'm taking the stick forward, and then back out on that frontal plane. So going forward to the sagittal plane, and then back on that frontal plane. So again, tailbone under, chin neutral. You're not moving the chest. You're pushing down maybe 20, 30% into the floor. Excellent. Pause for a moment. Slowly send the hips back to the starting position. Come out of the bow. And now we're gonna go over to our left, uh, excuse me, left side. So right hand, thumb faces down. Left hand is going to find the sticker. Setting the hips out first, upper body second. Leverage and pull back with that top arm. Now a common mistake is that bottom shoulder starts to hike up towards the ear. Keep that shoulder down. Keeping the chest still, again, we're just flossing that upper body really working into those lateral lines. I call it sticky rib syndrome. <laughs> so when you're sticky through your lateral lines, it's difficult to keep the shoulders down and back and to keep your posture. And it also is more difficult to press overhead. Take a moment, pause, slowly come out of it. Now we're gonna floss our hips because we do have a bit of 
leg work today in our strength portion we're going to get into variations of shin box going back over to the right left hand thumb down right hand to the stick now I'm going to step out a little bit wider hold my bow and I want you to pay attention to this left hip here I'm going to keep my chest still and I'm going to internally rotate left and then open up so again left hip in up. keep going I'm just going to show you without the stick for a moment so as you can see a visual here I'm in that bow and arrow pretend I have my stick and I'm going to internally rotate and out so squeeze in out let's do one more perfect slowly come out of it up and over to the other side maintaining that wider stance press out with the hips first follow that upper body now right you're going to articulate that right side so the only movement is coming from that right hip activating and articulating that right side I'm not using my left to create the movement good let's do two more holding that bow one more and slowly come out of it take a moment shake your legs out we're going into a little bit more of a narrow stance than we were just in center your stick in front of you right this is kind of similar to your setup for a kettlebell swing you're not much wider than this I want you to take the stick into your left hand now this right hand is going to come across so I'm going to hold where the sticker is and I'm going to push out with my right hand clearing my chin over the top of the bicep and over that shoulder and I'm pulling with that top left arm hold here for a moment now I want you to articulate your neck and practice some diaphragmatic breathing so you're going to close your mouth rest the tongue on the roof of your mouth breathe through your nose and look up towards the ceiling and down to the floor keeping your hips squared knees soft let's do one more upward towards the ceiling and then down towards the floor and slowly come out of it switching sides now we have our right hand on top and that left arm is going to come across so I'm going to think of pushing my knuckles over across my right chin again clearing over the bicep pulling with that top right arm keeping the hips square diaphragmatically breathing inhale exhale through the nose eyes up good eyes down let's do one more eyes up eyes down and slowly come out of it going into a lunge we're going to take our right leg forward now but I'm going to go a little bit on a diagonal so your right leg is going to be forward slide your left leg back take your right arm up overhead so I'm pushing down into the ball of that back foot squeezing the glute drawing energy back through that heel from here I want you to rotate the chest so right hand is going to come down to the stick chest is open and then pull the stick in towards your body be mindful so this knee is not bowing out to the side right our hands and our feet are our first line of contact with the outside world outside of our five senses I want you to really feel that connection through the ground pause here release come up two more times take that right arm reach open the chest pull the stick in breathe for a moment at any time you could lower your knee if needed let's do one more rotating the chest hold nice and low on the stick lengthen both arms hold four counts hold one two three on four gently release drive down through that flat right foot and come forward so let's do the other side so we now have our left leg forward right leg back stick to the inside of the thigh 
Glide back again. You want to squeeze that glute. You could always modify, like we talked about. You could take your knee down to the ground if needed. Left arm is up. Hold for a moment. Again, you're staying grounded and connected to that front foot. Begin to rotate the chest. Hold nice and low. Draw the stick in towards the body. Take a breath or two. You can also look upward towards the ceiling or eyes forward wherever you're comfortable. Release. Come up. Get that nice traction. Again, be mindful that you're not creating any tension in the neck or shoulders, right? We want to leave here feeling good today. Reach. Rotate, breathe. Slowly come out of it. Let's just do two more. I think we did four on the other side. Hold. Release. Let's do one more. Maybe come a little bit lower. Up to you. Take it in. Hold four counts. Hold one, two, three. On four. Slowly come up and come to standing. Great. Now, uh, we're going to take our long stick to the floor. We're going to use our short stick now. If you struggle with shin box, you're going to use your towel folded up or a small pillow. We're going to begin with our right leg forward, left leg back. So in your shin box, from your 90-90, you simply close the gap and the right foot is gonna rest on top of that thigh, back left heel close to the seat. Now, I do know that this could be quite challenging for some, so I'm gonna show you a modification. If you need assistance with your short stick, you're going to leverage it to the floor, angle the bottom, bottom of the stick in closer to your body. Watch what happens, again, with the neck and shoulders. We want to activate that posterior line. You're going to inhale, exhale, squeeze, come up through the glute, core engaged, proud chest, and then slowly lower without slamming down. So that is your modification. If you're comfortable with shin box, again, you know, if you need to sit on something, please do. Be mindful if you have any knee issues. You're going to take the stick right at shoulder height, excuse me, chest height, arms wide. Pull apart on the stick, slowly come up, stick up overhead. Now, push into the stick as you lower. Pull apart, activate that posterior line. Inhale, exhale, slowly come up. Push into the stick and lower. We're gonna do three more. Pull apart, arms up, chin neutral, push. Good, two more. Pull apart, breathe. One more, pull apart. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower. Well done. Five on the other side. So our left leg is forward, right leg is back. Take a second to make adjustments if needed before we get started. Your stick now again, right at chest height. Pack those shoulders, sit nice and tall, pull apart, arms come up. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower. So four more. Pull apart. Squeeze into the glutes, chin neutral. Watch that alignment. Again, we're not slimming down. I think I remember Dennis saying one time at a, at a certification that I was assisting at, he's like, don't crush the butterfly. So nice and slow. Slowly come up and push into the stick. Well done. Take a moment, shake your legs out. Now, before we add on, Simply go into some 90-90, palms to the floor behind you. Think of the knee that's rotating inward, touching at 12 o'clock. Flex the feet, work into your hips, shoulders down, length through the spine, proud chest. One more, excellent. Now we're gonna add on to our shin box. So again, if you need your towel or your pillow, set that up. From our shin box, we're gonna take it into a forward lunge, back into the shin box and gently lower. So if you're doing uh, variations of Turkish get-ups with a sandbag or a kettlebell, you may be familiar with this transition. So from your shin box, we have our right leg forward, left leg back. Stick at chest height. Pull apart, 
come up into your shin box. Now, as I take that left leg to come forward, I push into the stick to create a little bit of stability. Keep pushing into the stick, take it back, and gently lower. So we're gonna do five on this side. Here we go. Pull apart, shin box, push into the stick, knee down position. From the half kneeling, reverse it. Pull apart, inhale, exhale, come up, push into the stick, into your half kneeling, keep the tension, gently lower. Three more, pull apart, inhale, exhale, push, foot comes forward, keep that tension for stability, gently lower. Again, pull apart, push, core is braced, yes, one more. Pull apart, come up, squeeze into the glute, take it forward into your half kneeling, reverse, and gently lower. Nicely done. Take a second, shake it out, and transition to your other side. If you need a sip of water, grab it now. So we now have our left leg forward, right leg back. Proud chest, shoulders down and back. Pull apart, push into the stick. Keep pushing into the stick and reverse it. We have four more. Pull apart, push. Good. Knee back, gently lower. Three more. Notice the differences, if you have any, between your right and left side. Pull apart, come up, inhale, exhale, push into that stick, sweep the knee back, and lower. One more. Pull apart, push, keep it pushed, and gently lower. Well done. Okay, take a moment, stick to the ground, palms behind, knees wide, same thing, flex those feet, draw the knee towards the center. Let's do four more. One, breathing, two, three, last one, four. Excellent. Now, we are going to come up with our long stick for RDL, and we're going to do five on each leg. We're going to leverage the stick on the floor. So if I'm facing you head on, this is going to be my left leg, this is my right. I'm going to take my left hand, palm up, left hand, or excuse me, right hand is going to come across. Now I'm going to lift my right foot off the floor. I'm just going to demonstrate before we get started. You're going to hip hinge forward, and this right hand is going to come across, create that bow, hold, right? Staying nice and parallel, and then we're going to drive up to stand. I should have mentioned it earlier, but if you're wearing uh, regular sneakers, try to take your sneakers off. Barefoot is best, or if you're in a minimalist shoe, I really want you to feel that connection to the strength in your feet, the foot ankle complex tapping into the posterior chain. So, five on each side. We have left palm facing up, left leg down right leg is going to elevate. Lift, find your focal point, hip hinge forward, start to push tension into the stick, stay nice and parallel, hold, hold, tighten that core, breathe, inhale, exhale, drive up. Four more, hip hinge forward, right, push that right arm across, I could really feel that cross body tension, and drive up. Excellent. Three more. Hip hinge, find your focal point. Pause, grip the ground. Slowly come up. Well done, let's do two more. Eyes down, length through the spine. Nice and parallel. One more. Hip hinge, I'm pulling with that top left arm, pushing with the bottom right arm. Hold, exhale, come up. Well done, let's go to the other side. Right hand, palm up, left hand gonna come across. And again, you may need to make some adjustments as you switch sides. I know this is my less dominant leg. Okay, find your focal point. Left hand, so hip hinge forward. Try to go nice and parallel. Hold here, inhale, exhale, 
drive up nice and slow. Try not to tap that left foot to the floor. Hip hinge forward, brace, maybe you go a little bit lower, really push into that stick, watch your hip line, slowly come out of it. Three more, again, hip hinge, push tension, pull that top arm as you're pressing with that bottom arm, slowly come up. Two more, I could tell this side to me feels more awkward than the other side, good slowly come up let's do one more hinge forward push let's hold a little bit longer and drive up well done long stick to the ground now we're going to use our side wall i don't have one obviously on the other side to leverage to so when we do this uh, side plank or plank into side plank variation, I'm just gonna keep demonstrating with my left side pressing into the wall. We're gonna go from a parallel plank into a side plank, performing this five on each side. Take your position, so I'm gonna activate that lat, pack that shoulder, push into my side wall. My other palm gonna be right below my shoulder line, legs wide. Now I'm going to elevate the stick, inhale, exhale, rotate into a side plank, pause for a moment, square up. Next, let's do this four more times. Rotate, push into the wall, come back to center. Rotate, inhale, exhale, pushing, really packing that right shoulder, creating stability. Hips elevate. Close off. Let's do two more. Rotate. Realign. One more. Rotate. Option. Take that right arm through. Hold four counts. Hold one, two, three. On four. Realign. And gently lower. Excellent. Now we're going to go over to the right side. I'm going to continue on this side. Obviously, I don't have a wall to leverage. Now, you're going to turn around if needed, find your alignment, go wide with the legs, slight tuck of that tailbone, really activate your uh, anterior and posterior line, inhale, exhale, rotate, come back to center. Again, inhale, exhale, rotate, now again, that shoulder right above that palm, create that stability, square off. Realign. Three more. You're nice and parallel. Take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale, rotate, push into that wall. Elevate those hips. Come back to center. You have two more. Rotate, realign, hold. Now, the last one, come center. Rotate, option, sweep that left leg through. Hold four counts, hold one two, three, on four, come center, and gently lower to your knees. Going into V-ups next, we're gonna use our small stick once again. If you need some water, grab some. It's very hot today. <laughs> now, make sure you have some space. I'll demonstrate our V-up first. We're gonna go for a set of six. We're gonna take our short stick, laying back, right? And pull apart on the stick when you're back, mid and lower back connected to the floor. Inhale, exhale, push into the stick as we sit up and draw those knees in. The stick goes over the knees towards the shins. So let's begin. Start with your feet down in the knees, uh, the stick, excuse me, in front of the knees. We're gonna scoop out your center, pull apart, inhale, Exhale, draw those knees in. Pull apart, come up, two. Calm neck, inhale, exhale, come up, three. Try not to swing, come up, four. We got two more, pull apart. Push into the stick as you come up. Again, that's gonna provide a little bit of stability and recover. 
Well done. <laughs> Taking our short stick to the side, we're going to get into our stretching portion, and we're going to start with a knee down lunge with our long stick. I'm going to like take it into my right hand, and I'm going to step my left leg forward. So stick is in my right hand, left leg is forward. Take a moment, you're going to drive down through that foot, take the tailbone under, and I'm pushing into the wall. I could really feel shoulder girdle light up right underneath that armpit. Hold here for a moment, and then clear the knee off of the ground. I'm still pushing forward into the wall. Lower the knee. Hold. Proud chest. Breathe. Back heat knee. Elevate. Lift. Hold. Really working into that front line. And lower the knee. Taking the stick now to my right shoulder. I'm going to anchor with the ball of my back foot, come to stand, and set up for a nice hamstring stretch. So my left leg is forward, my right leg is back, squaring the feet towards the wall here, hip line nice and balanced, and I'm using the stick to help me maintain a nice flat back. You could go as low as you can comfortably. Now, from here, I want you just to lift the toes of that left foot. Reach that left hand down. Eyes are down on a diagonal. That back right knee is bent. Breathe here and hold. Take a moment, flatten that foot. Again, watch the alignment with your hips. Even though my front leg is straight, not hyperextending into that knee. Hold here. Bend into that back right knee and flex the, uh, the toes. Lift the toes towards your forehead. Reach that left hand down. Hold four counts. Hold one, two, three. On four, flatten. Use the stick. Glide up. And we're going to transition now to the other side. Our right leg is going to come forward, left leg is back in our knee down lunge. Take a moment, watch the alignment with your tailbone, take that pelvis under, squeeze that glute, push into the wall. Good. Eyes forward, hold here. Elevate, clear the back knee, proud chest, again engage that glute, focus on that front line and lower your knee, taking that tailbone under. Keeping that left arm nice and long, push, hold, four counts, hold one, two, three, on four, gently lower the knee. Take a moment, stick now to your shoulder, slide that right foot in, come to stand, make some adjustments, Hip hinge forward, flat back. Again, I'm packing that shoulder, trying not to go concave here. So if you're struggling to maintain length of the spine, you can work up higher. Now I'm going to bend into that left knee, lift the toes of my right foot. Right hand is going to come and reach down. Eyes are down too. Focus on your breath. Right, we're winding down. And then take a moment, maybe go wider. I'm not hyperextending this knee, so just be mindful of your position. Then you're going to flex again. Reach for the toes if you're able to. Stay here. Inhale and exhale. Hold four counts. One, two, three. On four, flatten the foot and slowly come up. Good. Now, before we take it into a half kneeling position. We're going to go nice and wide with our feet, similar to our warm up. Taking your long stick in front, palms are going to face up and you're resting right around the belly button. This left side is going to sweep across to the outside of the right foot. Outside the right foot, now I'm going to take a significant bend into the left knee. 
gripping the ground with the feet and looking upward towards the ceiling. Hold here four counts. Hold one, two, three, on four, come out of it. Now up and over to the left side. So you hook to the outside of the left foot. Deep bend into the right knee. You could always go wider. Hold here. Four counts. Hold one, two, three. On four, start to lengthen that leg. Come up. Let's do one more on each side. Outside the right foot. Bend into the knee. Stick comes in towards your body. Again, I'm gripping the ground with my feet, focusing on the breath. You can return to your nasal breathing through center, up and over to the other side. Reach, hold, four counts. One, two, three, on four, slowly come out of it. Take your stance in just a little bit closer. I'm going to keep the stick to the left and simply hip hinge forward, right? So not locking out those knees, so knees are soft. Reach the right arm down, draw the stick in. Gonna kind of hang here for a moment, working into that front line, stretching down into the bicep tendons and into the pec. Hold, look upward towards the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe. Slowly soften into the knees, come up, up and over to the other side. So I'm taking my stick in front of the right foot, holding up high with that right arm. Square off that hip line, hip hinge forward, centering that left palm. Draw the stick in, pushing down, maybe about 20% of effort. You're just kind of hanging here, relax. You could move your neck or you pull it down, whatever you're comfortable with. Hold four counts, hold one, two, three, on four, slowly come out of it. Shake your legs out. Now we're going to take our right leg forward, left leg back into a half kneeling position. Going into snake reach. I personally like to take the top of that back foot down and windshield wiper it a little bit over towards that right side. Inside uh, of the right thigh, your left hand is going to come up high. If you have any issues with your shoulders and this is quite an intense stretch, modification, you're gonna bend that elbow and keep the arm a little bit more bent. If you have a lot of mobility and you're very comfortable in this position, you could lengthen that arm further. Take your right hand out to the side. Now you have space between your shirt and the stick and you're simply gonna thread the arm through and then it goes behind that shoulder. Bottom right hand, you're gonna Slide the stick out a little bit, and now I'm going to squeeze the left glute, rotate over the top of that right thigh, eyes kind of down, focusing again into the shoulder girdle, into those lateral lines. You're also going to feel it into the hip. Breathe here. Take a moment. Slowly rotate out into that open side, and then inhale, exhale, go deeper into the stretch. Breathe here. Hold for four counts. Hold one, hold two, hold three, and on four you're going to gently release. Slide that hand down. Now I want you to take your left hand, push into the stick. So that is coming back similar to our standing stretch that we just did. Reach and extend your right arm forward and then keeping the stick close to the body, look behind you, a little T-spine rotation here. Coming through center, let's transition to the other side. Left leg is forward, windshield wipering that back right leg. Right hand comes up high, modification, bent. Left arm out to the side, through that gap, and then Rotate, squeeze that seat, eyes down. Again, neck should be nice and relaxed. Pause here. Slowly open out. Squeeze that glute. Inhale, exhale. 
rotate back into the stretch. Deep breath in and out through your nose. Let's hold for four counts before we add on. Hold one, hold two, hold three. On four, as we come through center, soften that elbow, slide the hand down. Now, I'm gonna push and leverage the stick into the floor. My right hand is gonna come down a little bit lower. Left arm reaching forward, hugging the stick in, and then looking back, back wall. So you're eyeing the back wall. Good. And then coming through center. We're gonna finish with our straddle stretch. I love this one. Those of you that needed the bolster of the pillow or towel when we were doing our shin box, if you struggle with the straddle, you could always sit on the towel or the pillow and that should help. We're going into our, I'm not gonna go as wide as I normally do, but you're going into your straddle position and you're gonna place the stick right at the arch of your feet. Take one hand, so let's take our right hand. I can't tell right now if I, I'll be face, face on. Um, right hand forward. Now, left hand, you're simply gonna place behind you, pulling into the stick, keep those feet flexed, and look back behind you. That inside shoulder is down, right? You're not sinking in, nice proud chest. Come through center, left hand. Right hand now, you're pulling with that stick, drawing it in, looking behind. Excellent, coming through center. Now, that right hand is gonna cross over the left. Flexing the feet, draw in, take a deep breath in, and then now exhale, point, wrap the top, uh, the arch of the foot over the stick, and you bend those elbows. Again, sitting tall. Now, I know this could be quite intense. And then flex. Maybe you go out a little bit wider, maybe not. Bend those elbows, push down the heels into the ground. Right, you should really feel your inner thigh light up. <laughs> and then point. Bend those elbows. Now, if you can, take the shoulders, pack them draw the tailbone back breathe maybe go a little bit deeper everybody is different good one more time flex and gently release now we're going to stretch out ql so our left foot now is going to go to the inside of the right thigh our stick is going to go to the inside of the arch of the right foot. Take the stick behind. Now, I want you to see if, if you need to, right, you could take your right hand and press down gently on the thigh. So if your knee is up here, you could also sit on that towel or pillow, that may help. I'm gonna kind of corkscrew my knuckles so that I could keep the shoulder down in back. And then the right hand is gonna reach for the foot or I could take the right hand across and lean in towards that right side. Again, focusing on that QL. And I'm flexing that palm, creating a little bit of tension. Hold four counts, hold one, two, three, on four, gently release. And we simply change sides. So now the right foot is in the inside of the left thigh. I've got the stick leverage. I'm gonna take that right shoulder, I'm gonna open my chest and I'm gonna rotate the knuckles back. Then if you'd like, left hand could come across or left hand down. It's gotta kinda of find that spot, there we go. So you wanna use that stick is um, going across my mid back. That helps to keep the position too. Breathe and hold, last four counts. Hold one, two, three, and on four, gently release. Nice work. So thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next Tuesday. I'm at Kelsbells88 on Instagram. 
please make sure to check out later all the classes that are uploaded onto Instagram and on the YouTube channel for Stick Mobility. They also have an amazing podcast, Movement Made Better, where they have fantastic guests from all around the world discussing movement and more. So thank you again. I hope you enjoyed class. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to DM me or reach out to Stick Mobility. Take care.